Top story today is National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. It is a day to both celebrate Indigenous culture and to honor survivors of residential schools and the children who never returned home. We are celebrating with Simone Galvros, who joins us live from West Harper, which does have a wonderful Indigenous installation. You have a special guest with us this morning. Yeah, Tim, we've been talking about a little bit about how people are going to be learning about educating and reconciliation today. And for more, I'm here with Angela de Montenay, who is the artist behind all our relations. This installation has been here for a year now. Tell me a bit about, you know, how this journey has been for you having your art out here in Hamilton. It's, it's still um, amazing to me every time I come down here that we we're actually able to do this. And it's, it's such a... Uh, amazing feeling to be able to have a place where you know the indigenous community where we can hold ceremonies like we did today and like we did a year ago today to you know bring unity to our communities especially for the indigenous community and understanding and and it's just been so beautiful yeah i was talking to other people as well just talking about how this has kind of become a landmark to hold a number of ceremonies as well like you mentioned now we did see the sunrise ceremony this morning so many people were here in attendance just learning and listening and you were involved in the ceremony tell us a little bit about what your involvement was like today so i'm a pipe carrier which means i have a, a sacred pipe that i use for, uh, for prayer and and healing and when we have large gatherings and ceremonies like this that are very important especially where we're honoring the ancestors of the children who never made it home. Um, we're honoring um, all of our Indigenous ancestors, especially from this land and this territory and all of our relations, which is, you know, why I created Absolutely. the installation. Um, and so that people can feel that spirit, they can, um, it will fill their hearts and, and their spirits, you know, with, with love and, you know, understanding and compassion and, and so that they can share that um, feeling and the messages and the things that they learned today, you know, through our um, Firekeeper Dawn from um, Hamilton Regional Indian Center. Um, it, it's just a, a beautiful way for people to engage and to start to feel something, you know, in regards to uh, our Indigenous ways of, of doing things. Absolutely. And that was definitely something you could feel today is just seeing everyone so intently listening to what Elder Dawn was saying as well. But Angela, I really appreciate you sharing those insights today from your personal perspective. Thank you again. And again, this event here at West Harbor, there's going to be another one starting at 1 p.m. and going till 3.30. But the Sacred Fire is still going here, so community members are encouraged to come out and listen and definitely reflect on this day of National Day for Truth and Reconciliation.